Hi, thanks for watching. This is Linda Bartolucci with InkStampAndScrap.com. Last night we had our September Facebook workshop and we made these cute bags. Well, I pre-made one and then we made one during the workshop. And so today I just want to show you um, quickly how to put that together. You want to see the whole workshop, you can go to my Facebook page and watch it there. For this video, we're going to use a different pattern of the Halloween paper. And if you want to see the products that are used to make this bag, you can look in the comments and there's links to everything right there. So the first thing that I did was I took the mini treat bag die and I ran it through the Big Shot to get my two pieces that I need. Let me show you that real quick. There you go, there's the mini treat die. Lots of cool things to add words or decorations. These are great for making windows on the bag and these are great for little dangles. Like you just cut a piece of cardstock and when you run it through all the hearts or all the hearts or stars come out and you just make extra little treats to hang just like we're gonna do with this cute little tag. All right, so I've got this folded. Now let's put it together. I'm going to put my tear and tape right here and on the inside of the bag. And then I'm going to put it again on the outside pattern of the bag on the smaller side. I love using tear and tape when I'm making a 3D project because it's easy to use and it holds forever. These bags are a perfect size to put a mini treat in for Halloween. They don't have a top to them, so you're going to want to use a little cello bag or any of those individually wrapped treat treats that they offer in the candy store or the grocery store, depending on where you like to shop for your Halloween treats. All right, there we go. So last night, the theme of the September workshop was um, Halloween, kind of obvious. And um, next month, the theme is going to be Thanksgiving and Christmas cards. It's going to be time to start thinking about mass producing cards. So those are the two themes, Thanksgiving and mass producing cards for our October Facebook workshop. Be sure you like my Facebook page. Um, it's facebook.com slash uh, ink stamp and scrap and that way you'll know when any events are coming up here we go yes there we go all right so to finish this off or to put this together what i like to do is start with this um side and i've already got adhesive here actually i'm gonna turn it this way towards me so i can see make sure that the zigzag edge here and here are lining are on the same side so oops i just stuck my nail to this so that you put the bag together the right way I'm trying to do this so you guys can see me do it in the video and also get a good enough angle so i do it correctly not always the easiest thing to do okay there we go all right so now we've got that one and then you simply just bring this one in there we go and there is our beautiful bag i like the um halloween paper this year because the designs on one side are very halloweeny and well this one not so much but um, you could use either or any time of year, but many of the designs on one side are very Halloween-y and on the other side are definitely more all occasion. I mean, I would definitely use this on a birthday card because it's just so fun. And orange is a great celebration kind of color. All right, so let's keep going here. We need, oh, can you hear them fall? Ha, huh. we need a gold clip and we need our baker's twine. And the lovely thing about the Halloween Baker's Twine is it comes in pumpkin and black and gray and black. So I'm just gonna use my craft scissors and cut off a fair amount only because yes, I'm tying a small bow, but I have big clumsy hands and I wanna be able to 
do it right. I'm just going to slide it in here and tie it around the front of the clip so the clip is completely usable. And you can't see that. There we go. Now you can. All right. Sounds like my neighbors decided to mow their lawn just now. So sorry if that's bothering you in the background. I can certainly hear it. Hopefully you can't. All right. Pinch there. Oh, beautiful. All right. Now that's definitely bigger than I want. But the nice thing about this baker's twine is that you can pull together and maybe a little bit more. There we go. And I'm going to pull here for a cute little bow. And then I'm going to trim these off. And I got smart and I have a trash can right on the at the base of the table and there it goes. Okay, so two parts done. Now we need to do our stamping. So I'm going to bring in my cute little treat bag and my sorry, and my mummy from Cookie Cutter Halloween. And then of course we'll use our cookie cutter punch to finish this off. So this is black archival basic black archival ink. I'm moving things around because I need to bring in my stamp mat. There we go. Okay, so I'm stamping. You can't see that. I'm stamping this towards the bottom. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp this towards the top. Why am I doing that? Oh, shoot. Because sometimes I don't do well, so I need to do it again. Okay, much better. That's why I gave myself space. And I want this down here because when I slide the cookie cutter punch, oh, you can, again, oh. when I slide the cookie cutter punch on, um, you'll be able to see. All right, so I'm going to let this set up just a little bit. And because the oils from my hand will smudge it pretty easily, but it does dry quickly enough for me to add a little bit of color to this cute pumpkin. I'm using the pumpkin pie um, Stampin' Writer. I'm using the thin end because the thick one would just make a mess because this is such a small picture. And then just for a little authenticity, I'm going to use the old olive to color in the stem. Not really sure if you can truly see it or not, but makes me feel better to know that our pumpkin has a green stem and not an orange one. All right, so now I'm going to cut this one out. And the special only lasts for a few days, so you don't want to miss out. All right, and now I'm using the cookie cutter punch and it's going to make a little bit of a mess because it has all these extra little pieces, which are fun. Our builder punches have lots of extra pieces, but we just want the main part for this card. So there we go. I'm going to get um, a tag that I already cut. I just used the triple banner punch to get the V down here and then I used a circle punch to punch that out and I'm going to take dimensionals one two three and I'm gonna put them right there and then this little guy is going to hang on his sleeve with a glue dot. I just push the, the bag into the glue dot and pull it back off. And there we go. And now we can add our cute little tag to our fun bag, just like so and we are all set so these are last night's and this is today's 
Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to um, look below and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Have a great day.